Hey guys, today I want to show you one of my older twisty puzzles. Uh, I've made it a long time ago, but I never owned one myself. Now I do. This is the edge turning rhombic tricontahedron. So this is the ETRT, or edge turning rhombic tricontahedron, and it has 60 axes of rotation. I'm going to call these axes because uh, the rotation is not around the faces. There are 30 faces and 60 axes, so uh, an average of two axes per face. And this is how the puzzle turns along these lines, right there. Now, uh, this puzzle is really, really cool, in my opinion, because it is a jumbling-only puzzle. These, uh, these jumbling-only puzzles are puzzles that are made with a quite complex geometry, and this one is one that I like because it just looks great. I mean, seriously, look at those faces. When you look at it from the top, it looks beautiful. Like those, those, um, those lines on the faces, the, if you just isolate one face, the cut pattern is quite mesmerizing, so I, I really like that. Um, and that's why I made it in the first place. Also, this one spins quite well. Uh, I used to have an, uh, an older version of that one, um, but it didn't work as well because those tiny pieces tended to, s to sink basically inside the puzzle. Uh, I've replaced the, 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 the core with a, with a ball core. It wasn't a ball core at first because I wanted to make it cheaper. That was not a good idea. Um, I just got a, a center cap that popped. doesn't matter, but all right. So let me show you how it turns. So the first type of turn that you can get is this tiny turn right there. So you can get a first jumbling move here. Now for those who don't know what jumbling is, uh, that it's actually when you when a, a puzzle has a certain geometry which allows you to turn it um, except you can cause blocked moves by turning uh, these uh, this way basically so here as you can see I can't turn it like that because these three parts are not in the right orientation and this is uh, an example of jumbling. It's a, it's a turn that you do that works but then blocks other turns and that's uh, due to the geometry of that puzzle. Um, so yeah, the second type of turning that you get is probably the one that scrambles the puzzle the most and that is this type of jumbling. So, sorry, let me see if I can focus on that. Alright, it's this type of jumbling right here. So these four parts and the reason why it's uh, um, able to do this is that this part of the, of the... Let's just isolate that axis. Let's just look at this for a second. This part here is symmetrical to that one, just like this little part was symmetrical to that one. So that's why you can replace one with the other and it's still going to be able to turn. Now let's look at that. I'm going to replace this with this, and then I can still turn it like that. Now, the reason why I'm calling this a jumbling move as well is because, well, if I complete the move, for example, here, uh, wait, no, let's see, uh, it is quite confusing, i got to be honest with you, whoa, center cap again, I should probably glue those on, it's not like they matter or anything, um, let's see, I can bring this all the way down here, and in the meantime, I can't move this or anything, even though the, the move is complete on that side, and I can move this, well, I can't move that because of the geometry, so it's uh, it's quite confusing at first, but you get the hang of it at some point. And so I'm going to show you the third type of turn that you can get on this puzzle, and that is the larger symmetry that you can see between these parts here and these parts here. And that would allow me to make moves like those. Now, it looks like it's scrambling this puzzle a lot, but I'm not sure that it can, to be honest, because, well, since these larger parts can't be permuted with parts from that side of the face, for example, here, if I want to turn this and then turn that face, it doesn't work. Uh, this corner is basically stuck on these three axes, this one, this one, and that one. So I'm not sure that you can scramble it using this move. This is just a cool move that the geometry allows. But overall, if you want to scramble this, you're going to have to use the two first types of turning that I showed you. And um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's just see if I can get a cool pattern out of this. I'm sure I can. Um, let's see. Oh, getting a bit of a lockup. All right. 
So there's some moves that you can do if you want to, like that for example. Uh, you can make a move like this by switching these three parts, permuting these sets of, uh, of, of four parts, and some pieces can actually stick out. That's because this is uh, basically flipped upside down, so, so that can happen. Alright, so let me see if I can undo all of this, because, uh, well, I don't want to scramble it or anything. I know a lot of you guys want to see me scramble my puzzles, but... Uh, the thing is, I... Oh, that's the good news I didn't tell you guys yet. I opened a company. Um, I'm not going to be selling cubes, although I'm not even sure I, I, I didn't say it earlier. I may have said it in another video that I forgot and that I haven't uploaded yet. Um, anyways, so I've opened a company. It's not cube-related, but it might become that at some point. I, I left uh, the option legally, so if I want to make cubes, I can make cubes. Um, and I'm talking about mass, produ uh, mass production and mass producing my own designs. Uh, it, it might happen, but not just not right now. I reassembled the cap in the wrong direction. That is not very smart. Um, so yeah, so I not only did I open my company, I still have the channel to run, and I'm gonna be releasing a huge project quite soon. And on top of that, I have a 40-hour um, week job, basically a full-time job. Uh, so it's, it takes a lot of time, and I don't want to scramble my puzzles because I prefer seeing them solved in my collection. So, so I'm not going to scramble this. Uh, I know a lot of people who have it. Um, if, if one of you could make a video where you scramble and solve it, if you want to, that, that would be great. Um, I'm not asking you to, like, you don't have to if you don't want to, obviously. But, um, yeah, it's, it, it would always be interesting for me to see someone solve this. Um, so, yeah. That's about it. Uh, also, these tiny parts, you can basically permute them through the whole puzzle. See, for example, this little... Uh, I'm gonna end with this. Uh, this little set of three pieces, you can actually break it apart. Uh, well, you can break it up and... Uh, and then scramble it by, like, by doing this. So, um, these little parts can be scrambled either with these moves either with the larger ones, the ones where you, you know, you, you move the, the four parts that uh, make this, uh, this piece right, uh, let's see if I can show you an example, the parts that make up this set of pieces right here, these four parts. So yeah, that's, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you saw basically how the puzzle works. Uh, that's the extent of the, the things you can do with that. Um, so again, as I said, not scrambling this. Uh, but I hope you still enjoyed the video, and um, I hope I was sufficiently clear in explaining how it works, and uh, I hope you like it uh, and its appearance as much as I do. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, by the way, as you're watching this, I'm probably somewhere around Europe. Uh, I am actually on holiday. So uh, I won't be uploading many videos. I'm not even sure I'll be uploading any more than this one. Um, so yeah, I'll be back uh, in mid-August. So yeah, I'll see you then. And in the meantime, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of this. And uh, like my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, everything in the description below. See you next time.